with chronic pain patients, do they do well on opioids? Generally not. There's a very small subset of patients with chronic pain that can benefit from opioids, especially if they're given intermittently and at low dose. But the overwhelming majority of patients with chronic pain do not benefit from opioids. These are really toxic drugs. A chronic pain patient that is taking an opioid is 30% more likely to die in any given year than someone that would not be taking an opioid. We uh, saw a, a room full of chronic pain patients speaking to the FDA, and they were saying that they are in pain, and these drugs, they say, help them. They are in pain, and there are some individuals that are helped by opioids. I'm not in any way trying to deny that, but there are so many side effects of opioids that slowly accumulate in the patient that a lot of times the patient themselves doesn't even see that these opioids are harming them in the way that we as physicians that are caring for these chronic pain patients can see. The FDA seems to think that they are safe and effective for chronic pain. Is that a mistake? I believe it was a mistake to approve opioids for chronic pain in the first place. And I believe that this uh, 20 or so year experiment um, has sort of proven since the original approval of opioids for chronic pain, um, that they're not safe for the overwhelming majority of individuals who are taking them. See any, have any hope that it's going to change, that the FDA is going to change? I would hope that the FDA would change the label, but we're going to have to be very careful if the FDA were ever to change the label and say all of a sudden that they're not approved for chronic pain. This would be catastrophic to the millions of people that have chronic pain that are on an opioid right now. Catastrophic, in, in what way? These individuals would be cut off from their opioids. Um, their insurance company may say, well, the FDA just uh, said that these are not approved anymore for chronic pain, so we're not gonna pay for this opioid. And those individuals might then go to the street and, and use heroin because that is something that they can um, get access to. And, and then all of a sudden they have an overdose and they die. Sounds like a big problem. It'll take us many, many years to get out from this problem of the chronic pain patients that are already on opioids. But we can't say that because that's a big problem or an insoluble problem that we're not going to take on the fact that people shouldn't be newly started on um, an opioid if they have chronic pain. I said it sounds like a big problem, but I actually was thinking it sounds like a big mess. It is a big mess. But again, the, the, the thing we have to be careful of is that these chronic pain patients um, are vulnerable. Um, the chronic pain is already a condition that is sort of stigmatized and, and, and these individuals uh, you know, don't get a lot of support from their friends and family members and things like that. I've spent my entire career advocating for chronic pain patients and so I'm very aware of the, the, all the problems that, that we have right now and the, and the, the fact that we have to be careful um, about changing a policy dramatically because it would almost certainly have unexpected untoward consequences and it's always the chronic pain patient that ends up suffering.